Here we are at 220 pounds, the number one versus two seed matchup. The one seed, Ian Edenfield from Laurel Highlands, uh, District 7, and the two seed, Trent Raglan from New Kent High School in Virginia. Season record of 19 5, a career record of 73 and 20. Is it? 2017 Escape the Rock third place medalist. He's a 2017 PIAA state finalist. A 2017 Pennsylvania State Pennsylvania State District 7 champ. And a 2017 yeah, and this is a match that I'm very interested in here at 220. Number 17 nation by Flow Wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, Edenfield, you know, obviously a returning state runner up last year this weight. Senior at New Camp. Trent is coached by Mr. Zach Schuch, and, Mr. and he's Earl definitely, you know, long. Season yeah. For a 220, not, a not you know, overly he's built in terms of strength, but certainly length. Champion. 2016 Fargo All American. 2017 Beast of the East medalist. He's currently ranked number one in the state of Virginia and ranked number 14 in the nation by Flow Wrestling. And with a 4.2 GPA, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Trent Ragland. GPA there in his resume. Don't know what they're doing down there in New Kent, Virginia, but this guy hits the books. Thirty seconds to go here in the first period. Not a whole lot of action so far. These guys yeah, feeling just, each other out. Yeah, just some busy hands, really. Yeah, Bragging getting hands to the face a lot. Walt Cannon out there, another District One top official here in the Southeast Region, refereeing this match. And Rick Solowski is the mat judge, if you will. Former District 1 official. Where's he at now, Glenn? Does a lot of work up in the uh, District 11 area in PA, but a, a lot of jersey work. Uh, I was talking to me prior to the start of the finals that he does the uh, Jersey State Finals up there in the northern part of New Jersey. So Rick's uh, seasoned official and does a lot of big tournaments. He's out at the King of the Mountain and you see him here at the Escape the Rock, so a lot of experience that, that Rick brings to the map. So Riley wins the toss, chooses to go down, trying to score that first point. You know, the last few matches going to overtime, it's, uh, it's important to have that choice for ultimate ride out. Every guy that had the choice in ultimate ride out won the match, or won their respective match. Yeah, and this is where Edenfield kind of, you know, can really ride with his length. Uh, he hasn't broken, broken him down yet, but once he gets him to the hip, he should be able to ride him a little bit. Both wrestlers working here, though. I mean, no one's going to let him go. And probably best not to get into a stalling situation where you get warned early in a match. But again, not a whole lot from either wrestler to this point. Cool singlet, though, there. The camo? Yeah, I love the camo. Not sure about the, the snow colors, but the winter... Winter uh, camo, you call it, but it's not bad. And Enfield working on that hook, but Raglan gets out of it. Thirty seconds left in the second period here. And a slap is the first attempt. Slap, leg slap is the first attempt we've had at a shot. Yeah, it was really, this is the first match where we really hadn't seen much action at all. All coaches and wrestlers. I mean, all defense for both both wrestlers. And of yourselves, please clear the balcony at this time. There's an attempt by yeah. Edenfield at the buzzer. A little double shot, too little, too late. 
and a field choice here in third. He chooses to go down behind one nothing to Trent Raglan from New Kent, Virginia. Raglan, or I'm sorry, Adam Field to his feet, and he gets the escape six seconds into the match. Here we are on our feet again, 1-1, one, one, minute 49 left in the match. We know this very well, this scenario. Ed Field complaining that uh, his opponent has some slippery arms there, but Waltz checked him and said no, so we continue. Nice circle and shot attempt out of bounds by. Yeah, it's not going to help field, you on yeah. the line there. It's got to. We got to get some action here in the middle. It's snap down by Raglan. Yeah, good little fake with a snap down. Now he's getting busy. So both wrestlers are busy on the line, but not in the center. Typical of a 220 heavy type mm. bout, but looks like the action's picking up a little bit here. A little head slap there by Edenfield. That will pass there. He's uh, on a high yeah. double. Set him up there by backing yep. up and coming in. That was pretty sneaky. He came in there with a little underhook with an arm lock of his own. Yeah, and there's our first, you know, call. I think it's warranted. That's your PA bias there, Glenn. Yeah, no, I think it's warranted there. Well... This might come the other way. Yeah. There's, There's that high, double again. Switch off to single. Ooh. Would have cut the corner a little bit earlier and turned him back in. He would have been in better position. Edenfield looks gassed. Oh, absolutely. He's hands on the knees. Yeah. Another double Shot attempt. CBI left that. And it feels still complaining that that Raglan's too slippery to hold on to. I see him <laughs> wiping his hands on the mat. I haven't seen that one before. He got him in that front head and was in good position. And you know, I was gonna say he needs to punish him more there. And then I, you know, he said he was saying it was cut corner. He can't hold on to him. Twenty two seconds to go here in the match. Another restart. Surprise, surprise. Man, Raglan makes get a sneaky takedown here if Edenfield's not careful. Five left. Yeah, we're going to overtime here again. This is our third overtime bout of the evening here. Let's see if somebody wants to open up here and go for it. Oh, nice uh, sweep single. <laughs> you are correct, sir. I ran into Harner outside when we were talking A lot of hands to the face, though. Good shot there by Edenfield. He's got to get height Gets now. Gets in on that single. A double. And he's got there it. There it is. Where was that earlier in the match? Man. He got to the legs a few times. Just wasn't uh, as effective as he was that time. 27 seconds in overtime. There's your champ, Trent. Or, I'm sorry, Ian Edenfield from Laurel Highlands. 